Hello, hello. I'm going to show you how I connected my old WD My Cloud directly to my PC. Uh, this one is old. I probably bought it like uh, five or six years ago, maybe around 2015. And I just got a notice by email saying um, this service is supported, will discontinue uh, this month, April of 2022. And I really, I really wanted to get stuff out of this, but I didn't know, I didn't know how to um, access this device any longer. So uh, they helped me. I asked them a question at WD website. So this would be where you would be going for getting some help from them. Anyways, um, I got this Ethernet cable. I got it from Amazon, the simplest one. And I hooked this thing into this. Uh, the other end of this goes to my PC. So from here, uh, this is what they told me. So at the back of the device, there's this pinhole here. So you use a pin like this one, a needle. This happens to have come from my uh, Android phone, Google um, uh, phone. So I press this thing for about uh, five seconds. And then this whole thing begins to reboot. And it, it took a while, like five or six minutes, until really this was ready. But uh, you'll know this is ready when you get a solid blue LED uh, on the front. Also, since this is already connected to PC, this is what you need to get. So this is the uh, network window, if you go to this network. And I have now this and this, but I didn't have this before. So I got these two after I pressed this thing for five seconds and I waited about uh, for five minutes. And another thing I needed to do was to create this um, shortcut so that when I click this, I go straight into the um, content of this device. So what I did was right click and new and create a shortcut and I need to put the um, IP address of mine, I think specific to this uh, device, I think. And I needed to start first with double backslashes like this and then drop the um, IP address. And the way I found my IP address to this device is to, uh, I think this one, right click this thing and go to properties and here it is the IP address for this device. Okay, I copy it and I drop it to the short cut. Make sure to start this with like this. So that's how I uh, created this uh, specific uh, shortcut to my MyCloud. Okay. I wouldn't press next because I don't want to create a new one. Uh, what else? To access the data, I needed to create a password. I already had, um, because I used to use this probably about five years ago, I already had my username and I, I didn't have a password set to it. So what I did was, I think I clicked on this and then I go to um, this website and it's accessing something and then I get this uh, uh, interface and then I eventually went to this um, page where I can set like I can add new users here but I already had mine already created under my name and I assigned a password and that's how now I am able to access my content in here using my password. And actually, I don't know what if, you know, what if I lose my um, password? I don't really know. That hasn't happened to me yet. I'm not planning to update anything. Um, I got an email telling me to update something in this thing, but I'm going to just use it like this, directly connected to my PC.